Okay, continuing with our PHP tutorials here. And once again, this one's going to um, just be uh, a step further from what we've uh, been going through here. Um, I have created a new names list. So our original names.list has some people's names. If I go to the new names list, I put some last names in there. And so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, search or grep through a, the file and look for matches. So we can uh, match people. And in this case, we'll be looking for people with the same last name. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it grep.php. And uh, then I'm going to say PHP tags here. And by the way, once again, this is part of a series, so be sure to look for the annotation that I hopefully put up on the screen that will lead you to the playlist uh, that has all the videos because this is video number four in this playlist. Um, and 99% of it is review. So just like in the previous tutorials, we are going to create an array that uh, looks towards a file. In this case, it's going to be names underscore two dot list. Uh, so we're creating an array and each line uh, in the text file is an item in the array and then we're going to create a for loop in this case it's a for each loop so for each item in our lines array we're going to create a variable called name and then just like the other tutorials we will just do a echo dollar sign oops name and a line break but we don't want to view all the names in this case. We want to view uh, the just lines that match a particular uh, string that we give it. So real quick here, let's bring up our names list. Uh, and we've got a few people here with the same last name of Gilmore. So we're going to go uh, p uh, reg underscore grep and then inside parentheses and then we're going to use a semicolon to close the command and we are going to say uh, within here what we are looking for and I'll just paste in the name Gilmore there make sure that you have it case sensitive in this case because uh, I'm 99% sure it does make a difference and we're going to say uh, lines so basically we are going to uh, grep or pregreg grep uh, for this string right here within this array. Now that will run that command but we need to put it somewhere and in this case I am just going to replace our original array. Uh, you could create a new array but I'm just going to say lines and replace it because I know that in this case I'm not going to use the uh, original array anymore but all depends on what you're doing with your scripts uh, if you were to create a new array here you would replace this here with the array you just created so I'll save that and if I've done everything properly I'll go back and I will refresh this and there's my uh, grep.php I'll click that and you can see that it's narrowed our list down to four names of people with the same last name um, and that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, but of course, I'll give you another example. We'll go in here and let's say we just want people named Richard. I'll say Richard, save it, refresh. And there's only one person name uh, in the list named Richard. Uh, and I am going to double check, but I'm 99.99% sure that it is most likely case sensitive which it is. So if I did a, a lowercase r here, uh, that it will um, it will not find the Richard with the capital R. And that's something for a future tutorial, possibly. So uh, I thank you for watching this tutorial. Uh, and I hope that you're enjoying my PHP tutorials. Uh, once again, this is part of a series. There should be an annotation to a playlist. And this is just leading up, uh, just, just quick little tips to prepare us for creating full-blown applications uh, with uh, jQuery, uh, JavaScript, 
HTML and CSS as the front end, and in some cases using PHP to to uh, go through stuff on the server side. So I just wanted to catch you guys up. Plus, uh, PHP is very commonly used, so it doesn't hurt to to know some of it. So thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.